We spoke about the keyboard, the traditional keyboard. We spoke about the touch screen that we believe we'll see a lot of it moving forward more and more as we move. We've seen the voice interaction, which will be able to speak with our computer. But we believe that it will go more than this. We believe that we'll see gestures even with our ultra books. When you look at Google Earth, it's not natural to try to turn the world around with the mouth. It's much more natural to move your hands. So let me give you a sneak peek into our lab, into activity that we are doing. And now we are going to meet the challenges of gestures on an Ultrabooks. And you'll see that this is kind of an intriguing way, because if we'll be able to resolve the touch, the voice, and the gesture, definitely broke the whole Ultrabook category into a new heights of experience, of joy to work with. So I have over here Jeff. Yes, Jeff, what do we have over here? Hi, Muli. I've got this system that we're prototyping that has a little game with a slingshot. And what I'm able to do is, just like I had a real slingshot, I'm able to shoot these rocks at these windows. Oh, and hold on for a moment. I'm not sure that everybody understands. You're not using a mouth. Actually, you're using your hand. I'm using my hand. I'm pulling the slingshot back and firing at this, at this building. Ouch. So actually, the camera is trying to understand the location of your hand and with a gesture. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And with a gesture, you can play these games. And the reason it's so important, because in the future, when you're sitting in a staff meeting of your boss, you don't need to toss the paper under the table so nobody will do it. You can just innocently do like this with your hand, and you can play all this game. This just show you the opportunity ahead of us. Again, consume a lot of compute power, but finally we've got everything that we need in order to be able to deliver this great experience.